hey guys come get ready with me welcome to my youtube channel um i can't help but make fun of that whenever i am doing this but here i am hi i'm louise i'm so a musician hot. so hot right now this is jason i think and uh <laughs> i'm gonna talk about a song on my new record that's called kids um this song went through a working title a few working titles but i i landed on kids because it's a love song and it's about uh i guess sort of the temporary nature of love and how sad that can be but also how wonderful it can be and how i guess everything everything what, what goes around comes around man <laughs> so <That's>, true <laughs> Sometimes I just feel like I am like on a rocking chair shooting wisdoms from my mouth. Like I'm just saying things that exist. But I find for me as a songwriter to write a pure love song feels like a missed opportunity. Why not give it a spin? <laughs> and for me, that was really natural writing this song. It was sort of uh, inspired by watching Robin perform live and how joyful her music made everybody and how it was kind of like happy, but there was nothing saccharine about it. it there was a heaviness to it. I can't really articulate it in any other way. It was, you know, music like Robbins or music like any kind of uplifting yet sort of sad pop music has such a superpower in that you don't really feel <laughs> embarrassed by listening to it. You don't feel like you're overdosing on sugar by listening to it. And that probably sounds like a throwaway statement, but I really don't know how else to put it. So. I wanted to write a song, attempt to write a song like that. And um, I worked with Colin Jans on this one. And Colin is an incredible producer who I have done co-productions with for other artists before. But this is the first time I've worked with him for my own music. And it was so much fun. It was all remote. We were sending sessions to each other just back and forth. And um, he really brought just this whole other level of lightness to my music and really great texture, sonic texture that I don't think I could have ever achieved. Um, and the reason being, and he's an amazing producer, but he's also an incredible ambient artist. He goes under Tessit and uh, he's running a label called Intraset, which is ambient music, just lots and lots of ambient, gorgeous music. So um, if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check him out. And yeah, this song I brought to him and it was one of those songs that I wrote in, I don't know, probably an hour. And I guess I'll give you a little taste of it now. Is it the worst? And that synth line right there was one of the most satisfying parts of the song to me to write. Whenever I do demos, I do really simple demos. Like I do not give a flying fuck about the quality of my demos. I just want the song to get done. I want the arrangement and the lyrics and the, I want the BPM and the key to be all right there, but I don't really care about much else. So um, that was one part of the demo. I actually was like, okay, I think I'm going to use that. And Colin made it better and redid it and put it through a different kind of synth pad. But for me, um, it's all about hooks, man. I just don't want to forget my own music. And I do anyway sometimes. But for me, that was a really uh, obvious part of something we should push in the song. Thing of all that I made you into the kind of man I could love. And the lyrics of this song are sort of um, talking in that first verse about how if you meet somebody and you have a connection with them, you sort of immediately, at least for me and most of my friends, I'd say, um, maybe you can relate to this, but you, you say, oh, what's your sign? <laughs> and I don't know if I even, I don't know if it even matters, but for me, it's such a, a thing that me and my friends do is like, does it make sense? Is it compatible? Like, I wonder like what it would be like and is it written in the stars? Yeah. It's such a silly thing we all do, but I thought, why not acknowledge that? It's kind are, of funny. Are your, are your good and bad qualities because of your astrological sign? <laughs> yeah. Or am yeah. I picking up on, on something else? Yeah. Is your day horrible because you read your horoscope and made that dictate how your day went? Or <laughs> You know, mixing this song on, on a more technical note, yeah. Uh, of the of the music part of it was um, how little there is a drum beat in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. It's it, it, it's the production of it is very it's it's not sparse but it's very um, 
it picks and chooses its moments, yeah. which creates a very nice dynamic, yet very propulsive pop song that I think is fantastic. I think you guys both did a great job on it. Well, thank you. I owe a lot of that to Colin. He's just a really tasteful dude. And here we have a sample of, I remember putting this in, Stomp Forest Soil, which is again, me using weird nature samples. This is something I downloaded from Splice. If you guys use Splice, it's, you know, it's great. What can you say? But I really enjoy having elements of natural on top of programming. And for me, it's still programmed, but it's a natural sound that you're taking. So you're sort of reinforcing these digital moments with this sort of like earthiness. And I really like that. And Colin is so great at programming drums. I mean, he just restrained, tasteful, everything that needed to be there was there. And when I first gave him my original work tape, my demo, it was really just a like a loop I'd found on the internet that was just like, like really simple, like holding it down. And he made it just more interesting and less, um, I guess, what's the word, static. And I mean, it wouldn't be a song by me if it didn't have an Enya reference. So here's a synth called literally Enya synth, <laughs> which is an ARP because that's, you know, that's Enya for you. Like, why do we love ARP so much? I was thinking about that this morning and I wonder what it is about ARPs that human beings love. I was listening to some classical music this morning and it was... I think it was, oh, it was like a, an artist had covered Claire de Lune by Debussy and he used synthesizers. Is it Debussy? I don't know how to pronounce that. Deb Debussy. Debussy. Um, and I love classical music. It's a huge influence of mine. You probably would never hear it in my music, but I love it. And um, it was a, a le electronic cover of Claire de Lune. And it was so interesting to me how beautiful like certain parts of that song sounded through a digitized instrument because it's really just like, do, 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 do. I'm doing a horrible job of reinterpreting it, but there's that moment in the song where it kind of picks up and it really kind of is more or less like arpeggiating and through a synthesizer just sounded so much more profound to me, even though it's gorgeous in its own original state. And I just wonder like if there's a philosophy of why we're all so into synthetically programmed arpeggiators, like what is it about it? I wonder, there must huh. be an answer, you know? Because I'm really drawn to them, right? They're good. It's good shit. I don't know why. Satisfying. That's a that's a deep dark hole. That that would be a whole other YouTube video. Oh yeah. That probably not by me, but I, I'm gonna Google that later and see what see what happens. You never know. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much it for this song. It was really fun to write. Really easy to to get done. It did take us a long time to finish it though, because this song did have many reincarnations. It was really hard for me to decide if it needed real drums or just program drums. So I did have Jeff Mitchell Moore play on it again at the Hive with Colin Stewart and they, they're they great. And some of those drums are used as samples here, but there's no actual groove that we played, which is interesting because I was very convinced that was gonna be the solution for my, my whole record is real actual human grooves. But in the end, um, programming kind of won. So I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. I think that's sort of, the way I've been working a lot lately. And I, I love drummer. I love drummers. Like working with a real drummer is the best thing in the world. However, I do find there's something really fun about putting your own beats together right now. And it's new territory for me. So I think that's probably why I'm so into it because I'm not great at it yet, but I could be if I really work hard and I practice, I think right? I think you're pretty good at it. It's, it's called I Splice Loops, man. They're like pre prefab. <laughs> Nothing new here. Okay, I think that's it. 